Hola, hola, hola guys. It's me and uh, I'm back again from vacation. <laughs> Just kidding. So it's good to be back. I hope that you guys are having a great week or had a great week. Um, it has been stressful for me these days, uh, which is one of the reasons I haven't been on here as much as I would want to. Um, other days, I'm just, I mean, I, if you've seen other videos, I have talked about it where I'm just hit with um, a sudden blues or, you know, occasional sadness that occurs, um, occasional anxiety that happens and I have to kind of step away for a bit from everything because sometimes life is just a little too much. So today I'm just going to uh, make up my face, some uh, makeup therapy, and I'm just going to show you the products that I got in this month's BoxyCharm and it is the regular BoxyCharm um, the Boxy Lux I am waiting for that because, because dumb me uh, for some odd reason I think I had mentioned this a while ago um, for some reason I thought the ultimate was like higher than the Boxy Lux and then I realized that it's not <laughs> So I had to like cancel it um, and then when I went to Boxy Lux, obviously, you know, you're put on a waiting list so I've been waiting all this time so I think I did get an email finally that they were going to send it out so stupid me but in any event, um, I thought I would just, you know, just check out the little bit of products that I got in my box um, so I'm just going to show you uh, one product that I'm not going to be using right now um, this is from, this is mine, tan body, whatever, what? Okay, this is Minotan, Mine, I hope I'm saying it right, Minotan Body Skin, and this is the Hydra Glow Sleep Serum, and this has a value of $44.95, so this is basically a serum that you use at night, which absorbs with hyaluronic acid, delivering time release, multi-depth hydration, blah, blah, blah yada 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 so you already know the deal um so i will be trying this on at night time and the rest of the stuff is pretty much makeup related so i'm gonna be going into that um, i'm gonna try out because i've had this for a while now um and i actually have not used it for one for one reason or another this is the laura geller spackle mist restore um so i'm pretty much gonna go ahead and use this you can use this as prime set refresh um so i'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face with this. I have not used it yet, but ooh, ooh, nice. It smells really nice. It smells like coconut. And um, then we're going to put on some foundation. So I'm going to be using the Born This Way Matte Foundation, um, which I am currently still trying out. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I've used it like maybe twice and I wanted to do a review on it, but you know, I like to really try the products. Um, I don't really like to be unfair with products, so I'm going to give that a go. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about life. <laughs> so how has life been for you guys? Um, for me, it's been ah, particularly stressful and not necessarily with like, I don't know, like home life or anything like that it's really been more like with work um i've been just really really super busy with work and it's just so annoying um oh yeah so fyi um this is the shade snow if you're wondering um and i'm just again trying out this foundation because i kind of have like mixed opinions on it and I don't want to like really talk about the product until I really know um you know if I like it or not so yeah dude Ugh. like do you know how long it's been <laughs> since I have used foundation um it has been quite a while um you know masks man we're, we're using masks all the time so i honestly don't even wear foundation like seriously all i've been wearing um is a little bit of concealer i make sure that my skin you know is hydrated primed you know so i'm kind of like more diligent on the skincare these days you know again i think that skincare is just really really important i mean you can spend 200 300 dollars you know, on 
you know high quality makeup but really if your skin is not there I mean the makeup really you know it, it can only do so much so I'm really stressing on the skincare these days keeping up with my masks keeping up with um, my serums you know my eye creams my moisturizer and all that and I'm telling you I mean there's people <laughs> There's people that they'll even, you know, they'll ask me, are you wearing makeup? I'm like, no, just some concealer. And they're like, whoa, girl, like, tell me your secret, girl. Yeah, so um, I'm not, I don't know. This foundation is just so, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, it just doesn't look right or whatever. I got a mustache, girl. I have to take that off. Quítate eso, mija. Okay, so I'm going to be using this product now that came in the box. Um, this is from Real Her. Um, and this is the definer brow pencil so retail price is $16 and this is in the color is this in a certain color I have no idea I don't see the color on here um, yeah <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it um, so let's see it has two ends it has a spoolie and then of course the, the uh, pencil itself so you're gonna see that should I okay this looks kind of taupey which would be up my alley um i don't really typically use pencils but let's just keep it simple i guess <laughs> so yeah so as i was saying um work has really been a challenge um and you know it's not even that it's been work itself uh, you know because the work you know work is work and it's gonna be you know it, it is what it is but really the issue has been um the people that I've been working with um uh, and to be more specific because I work for an attorney or I work for well it's an it's a big firm actually so it's like a lot of attorneys um but it's just <laughs> just to put it in a nutshell like a lot of the attorneys there and I'm sure you know if some of you um, you know work with attorneys or if you've worked with attorneys or whatever you know how stressful um, the job can be but it's especially more stressful when um, you're dealing with people who are rude um, and just you know they just really make your day just it's like they make your day so freaking annoying so I kind of have just been dealing with that um, we work in like different departments in the firm um, and primarily what I do um, is I open you know the new cases so I'm not really typically dealing with clients or things per se uh, because what I'm typically doing is just opening the cases um, sometimes you have questions to ask the attorneys and things like that depending on you know who the case is assigned to um, and I've just been feeling lately and this has actually been um, since the pandemic happened um, you know people I don't know they're just so rude they make your life <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say life because not my personal life, but they make your professional life more difficult. Um, you know, you, you you try to do your job, and you know it's it's just so ridiculous. You know, like if you have a question to ask, they're just um, just so nasty about the way they answer, um, and it's really been stressful. And it has not just been me. Um, it's actually been another coworker of mine. It's been a, actually a couple of us, I'm gonna say, where we are like continually venting to each other um, because we kind of like don't have anything else to do. Like we don't really have another option, so we kind of just like complain to each other. Do you see this foundation? I don't know if you see that, but some of it actually came off. That is so weird. I have to say that this pencil is pretty good um, it's actually pretty dark I, I feel like I need to practice a little more um, again because I don't use pencils I prefer my pomade um, it sets pretty quickly so like once you get it on there like you gotta comb it through um, before it sets so yeah 
but um yeah so that's pretty much what I have been dealing with um and I think you know I've held it for a long time I've held my mouth quiet for a long time about it but I think I'm gonna have to probably go to like my boss this week and really speak to him about what's going on um because you know there's so many of us and there's management you know and all that um but <laughs> even the management you know uh are not the easiest to deal with either you know what i mean they're not the friendliest um and i just kind of feel like i'm backed in a corner um you know i just it's it's just it's really hard to explain i mean like a couple of years ago i mean i'm sure if you've gone through it then you know you understand you know what i'm talking about and i went through this a couple of years back where i was in another firm um and i quit like i had found you know another job gave my notice i was out of there because it was the same environment actually it was worse the environment um because the people talked about everyone in front of you the bosses pretty much didn't care you know they they just wanted their money um because you know that's that's what they're about um and i just basically found another job and left because <laughs> i really couldn't deal with it um you know but i kind of you know i find myself you know it's like a deja vu all over again and i find myself in a situation where um you know my mental health is being affected you know and it's like i don't care how many benefits you give me i don't care how much money you give me like none of that matters you know it it doesn't compare to my mental my mental health that's important to me you know and i just kind of feel like my anxiety is at an all-time high my nervousness is at an all-time high i mean and mind you we're working twice a week in the office in person and then the other three days we're working um remotely i mean and the two days that we have to go in i don't even want to go in because it, it's just it's just gotten to that you know what i mean it's just really stressful okay so i'm gonna go ahead and try out um this was included in my box as well this is from Too faced and this is the born this way super coverage um multi-use sculpting concealer um so the retail price on this is 29 dollars. it is in the color swan which i don't think it's gonna look too good um i think it's probably gonna maybe be a little too yellow i'm not sure maybe <laughs> but i'm gonna try it out but so far and the foundation it's not i'm telling you like i've been trying to give this foundation a try so much and i don't know if you noticed but like a little bit of the foundation came off there you know I, I don't know what it is but anyway here is the concealer i just have a bad feeling that my face makeup is just not gonna look good <laughs> not gonna look good today okay y'all so just bear with me <laughs> but let's see if if this foundation is any good or i mean i like Too Faced you know I, I like their foundation um i like their matte foundation the peach per okay so the color is actually not bad um however it's not it's not playing very well with the foundation um i don't know what's going on <laughs> like i already feel like this look is just gonna be crappy like i'm already giving up before <laughs> before i even like begin like i'm already giving up but um i'm gonna go ahead and just set it with some powder or bake um i'm gonna be using the Too faced peach perfect powder which i like very much it's one of my favorite powders um and we're just gonna put some powder under there like i also definitely need to shave my face i have not done it in quite a while <laughs> I think because you know since we're getting away with so much with wearing you know wearing the face mask that I kind of just been lazy about it so yeah can't be lazy about that stuff so this palette that I have is from Violet Voss so this is the Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette which is very cute very nice um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this beige color which I'm gonna probably have to tread lightly with it because 
it definitely looks like it's gonna be dark on me I'm just trying to take off this plastic protective crap and go into that color see how that goes so it doesn't look like a whole bunch of product shows up on the brush like a little bit and then it kind of like disappears <laughs> like do you see that but anyway um I don't know what that's about but um yeah oh my gosh I don't know what it is but so I don't know if you noticed earlier but out of habit I usually put concealer on my eyelid and this time what I did was I put on some eye primer and then out of habit because I do it so much I put concealer on top so now the concealer is just like not not faring well on my eyelid so I'm like trying for my life to get this eyeshadow blended <laughs> as best as I can um, it's looking decent now I but I really had to pile some color the good thing about this color which is just entitled beige um, is that it actually is not as dark as I thought it was gonna be um, and it kind of fixed up my eyelid a little bit so thank God for that <laughs> But yeah, that was a close call, y'all. So that is what has been going on with me lately, y'all. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I haven't been there very long. It's probably, it's been, I started in December. Um, and then when the pandemic happened, um, I'm going to go ahead and use clay. So when the pandemic happened, um, you know, obviously I was not able to like get to know, you know, I did get to know people, um, but it kind of all came at a standstill, um, once the pandemic happened, um, you know, obviously, <laughs> so we were all stuck working at home, you know, um, but it got like really crazy. Like you would think that you would be you know um working a little more peacefully and you know i i'm sure there's people that think oh you know you're working home you know you're working from home it, it's awesome it's whatever um it is you know i'm not gonna deny it um it is great working from home because you know you're home <laughs> you know i get up i don't have to go on the train you know i just get up and turn on my computer and and i begin working um, you know, and uh, when I'm done with work, I'm already home. I don't have to jump on a train um, to do anything, you know. So, but it doesn't, you know, it's it's not like I'm doing less work, you know, I'm still working. Um, and the thing is, is that, you know, just these people, which are really particularly are the attorneys um, that we work with, I mean, they're just, ugh, I, I can't even tell you, you know, just trying to be nice because I'm a God-fearing woman <laughs> y'all but but sometimes like I'm just like I really want to send them somewhere because they're they can be um just about the rudest people um you know and I know you know maybe you're stressed or whatever everybody's stressed everyone is trying to figure out everything as best they can you know you're not the only one you know and that's the thing that gets me you know you have to treat others with respect you know I don't care if you're an attorney um, manager judge whatever I don't care um, we all should be treated with respect you know um, and that's what is what has been really getting to me um, these past couple months and I'm so happy that um, I keep in touch with um, a co-worker of mine who basically does the same thing that I do in that firm unfortunately we don't see each other when we come into the office because um we are put into different groups so the group that she's in she comes in other days so we don't see each other but we keep in touch through messaging and texting sometimes we'll call each other and vent you know <laughs> so i'm really glad that i can do that with her because this really has been um a stressful time so yeah I mean, the fact that you can't even ask a question sometimes. I mean, I wish people, like, understood. Like, if you don't suffer from anxiety, like, you just won't know. But I really, I mean, it's just so important, people. I, you know, you don't be kind to people. 
you know what I mean like you don't know what people are going through you don't know um, what they're going through that day you know um, there's no need to be nasty to people there's no need you know um, if I have a question just nicely answer you know if it's something that you know you, you have to tell me or whatever or tell someone in general you know do that but you know there's no reason that I should you know feel anxious or feel nervous or you know uh, dread coming in simply because people don't know what to have, how to act people don't know how to speak um, and it's just really upsetting you know uh, it's, it's very stressful um, and then it makes it even worse when you're home because it's like wow like I'm working from home you know three days of this week or whatever and it's like I kind of can't even escape the stress in my own house because you know uh, you're working from home <laughs> so it's like how do you even deal with that um, so yeah so I just finished putting wild orchid on my lid and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the color next to it which is blue violet um, just so that you know what's going on as I vent <laughs> So that, y'all, is pretty much what has been... So that is pretty much what has been annoying me, y'all. So just, you know, wanted to vent out a little bit. Feel free to, you know, share your comments below. <laughs> and uh, share with me, you know, your experiences if you're dealing with what I'm dealing with. But that's just pretty much like a little... I don't know, a little snippet of what I've been just dealing with. Just smart aleck responses and the way that people speak to you. Um, you know, even, and it's really, it's ridiculous. The emails, you know, of just being spoken to like, like you're a moron. And I, I just can't, I can't deal with it. Okay, so the last product that I got on my box is from Clarence. So this is the Clarence velvet lip protector so this is a value of $26 and this is pretty much a lipstick um, says with a matte finish um, and this is actually a nude color which is pretty cool um, has this nice little velvet tip applicator as you can see so let's give it a squeeze and see how it looks Ooh, I like this so all right so there you go guys thank you so much for watching this video um so i like this look actually it's not you know it, it's it's a nice pop of color and it's not anything over you know over whatever i forgot the name but but yeah so um i did like this box um i usually don't make videos on like the regular boxy charms because i mean it's just such a little amount of products that you get so it's like a lot of times I don't bother to make a video, but I don't know, I guess I kind of just felt like doing one with this box this time. Um, so the palette is really nice. Um, I liked the colors. Obviously, I didn't use all of them, but the colors that I did use were pretty nice. Um, I kind of feel like the purples could have been a little bit darker. Um, I'm hoping that maybe they're buildable I mean I did find them kind of buildable when I was putting on the color um, I just wish they were probably a little bit darker but other than that the colors are really nice the neutrals are nice um, and they blend very well um, the concealer I'm um, actually was surprised that it's kind of a nice color um, however it's looking a little blotchy on me I don't know why um, again, I am actually trying out the matte foundation, so I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking too good. <laughs> but um, so yeah, um, the eye, the uh, eyebrow pencil, um, I actually do like, and I probably am gonna see if maybe I can keep using it. Um, and the lip color. I like very 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 much it is a comfort matte so it's not gonna dry or anything like that it's you know very nice moist and comfortable and the color is pretty much just up my alley unfortunately not a lot of people see our lips these days because we're wearing masks all the time but hopefully you know in the next couple months that will clear up so thank you so much guys for watching thank you for being patient because I know I haven't been here like a couple of weeks um, but you know life happens and 
I don't know it's just pretty much just been a little bit of everything I guess like stress or whatever um, work you know for me it's been mostly work and I'm telling you when the day is over and I'm working whether I'm working from home or coming back from the office I mean I get home and I'm just like I don't want to deal with anything or anyone <laughs> And I think that's also probably why I haven't really been diligent on making videos. Um, and it sucks because, you know, you want to do them. You want the energy to do them. And sometimes I just don't find the energy to do it because a lot of the times I'm just so bummed out. Um, and I know that I should not let my job or people or anything get in the way of how I feel I know that but sometimes as a human you know it happens but in any event thank you for watching and I'm going to try and start you know mustering up videos <laughs> more and that's about it so I will see you guys in the next video be safe be blessed protect yourselves out there it's a cruel cruel world at the moment and uh, yeah that's it bye guys